all righty youtubers we got a polaris 330 magnum i took all the plastics off got the old stator out and all this crummy mess that i've pulled the plastics off so the plastics are right over here they're pretty well damaged let's just go with that but uh we just got to work on a few odds and ends and you know there's plastics where it says 330 magnum Here's the old stator. It looks pretty bad. Once you submerge these in water, they are no good. I even tested it, and it did not work. So I was like, eh, screw it. Or end up throwing it in the recycling bin and go ahead and scrap it all. Because it's not the bike, but the stator. So all this is pretty crummy. But when you get in here, you see a little fuel leakage issue. I mean, that that's kind of weird. But... I'll just let it drain for right now and then we'll see if it fires up and runs. I don't know, it may not. Took all the plastics off and now you can see underneath it and on top of it. So, drained all the gas out of it. Show y'all a little camera view from the gas tank. There's some, there's not much. Drained all the gas out. Been working on it for the past two hours. Here's all the rest of the pieces, parts that I got to put back together. Got the belt up there. There's a belt if y'all wanted to see that. And like I said, from camera, it's not looking pretty thick. But when you have it in your hands and you look at your hands, that's a pretty thick, hefty belt. So, we have got our main ECU. Got to see if that still works. Well, it still does because it cuts the key on. So beforehand before i started taking stuff apart that's all the stuff i have pretty much wired in i did cut the center a little bit with a little miter saw that you can see here that i did with the plastics so that way i can route these wires in here because the original headlights didn't work so i wired in my own switch and we are also charging the battery that's what it says in the manual may take up two to four hours so i was like all right so we put distilled water in it what concerns me is this right cv axle that concerns me a whole bunch but i put some anti-seas and stuff well not anti-seas lithium grease so that way it can roll let's see if it still rolls i think it's still on the back of the tiller yep yeah, it still rolls, but I don't think we can put it in full wheel drive till we get everything up and rolling. But yeah, it's still steers. The handlebars don't wiggle from side to side like it used to. And like I showed from the last video, we put a new spring. We got a side cover after we get the all these hardware and the lovelinesses of getting all this stuff put back together. And we'll make a video here soon, me putting all this back together. Stay tuned. Got to give me a break. Trying to get the wife to get started and rolling in with her paychecks so we can get that. Hopefully, we'll get this bike rolling. Definitely running, rolling, functioning, being able to do stuff on it that my little pickup truck or her Jeep can't get through. So we're gonna make it a tight running, field running, and hopefully get everything in order so we can get this up and rolling. Cause right now it's just sitting, like I said, I bought a battery for it. Got all the parts actually right in here to finish up the battery, which is this little plastic baggie. When you buy your Everstart, a buddy of mine, would say never start but it's not a bad battery that's for your polaris bike from walmart 14 la2 and it measures out from 5.25 to 3.5 for width it's 525 and length well that's length and that's width 3.5 inch and then 6.56 inch i don't know why they go by 
metric, but I guess they do for other people overseas. And uh, right now, we should have us a battery in there. We should be able to get this bike up and rolling as soon as we get parts rolling in. So here pretty soon, we're gonna be putting the tiller on Cubby here pretty soon after we run some more seafoam through him because he's been running a little sick. Every time when you got the PTO on, it doesn't do it, but it surges. So we're gonna put some seafoam in that. And y'all can watch me do it. Not very hard. Let me make sure that's an open bottle. Hmm. Another wife bought some new ones. That's a new one. Yeah, that's a new one. This one's an open one. Give me a minute doing this off camera. Okay, this stuff is awesome. I literally only poured just a touch. I might pour the whole thing because that's my last, last other can. All right, people, this is Cubby. I've been trying to get keep this machine alive. And that's the Ever Start battery. Never Start, as my buddy would say. Charging it currently. It's not charged. And this is a can of Seafoam. This stuff saves your machines. I've had no issues out of Seafoam whatsoever. So that's Seafoam, where you can read. Cleans injectors, cleans carb jets, stabilize fuels, control moisture and fuels, quiet noisy lifters, clean deposits, add lubricacy to fuel, lube upper cylinders, de-ice and anti-gel, which this stuff really works. Oh, I forgot, trash can's over here. But yeah, this stuff really works, so after you get done using it, you just toss it in the can. So, hopefully y'all have a good day.